Chesley hits. Is it going to be out? It certainly is. Well, neatly pouched there by Richardson, but you really can't blame Chesley. He had to give it a go. Uh, well, he moved away from the wicket and wanted to hit him over mid-on. And just give an easy catch to Richie Richardson at uh, mid-on. That's the position facing India, 175 for six. Just uh, four overs remaining. Shastri caught Richardson ball, Bishop for three. Just two overs remaining after this. Hit that in the air, that's probably out as well. Viv is having a look at it. He's caught an identical catch to the over before on the other side of the ground. Can't blame the batsmen, they had to have a go. 186 for eight. So Sharma, RJ Sharma from out for nine, caught by Viv Richards off a scar from the bowling official. Bishop in the air and neatly caught. Well, didn't he make that look easy? At the beginning, it looked like he wasn't going to bother Ian Bishop. But he just knocked it up like a goalkeeper, put his hand underneath it, and the ball dropped smoothly in. And that's the end of Kieran Morad. After four, caught and bowled by Ian Bishop. Yeah, ball from Bishop was well pitched up. On leg and middle stump, and Kieran Morad wanted to play him on the onside. And just gave a um, straightforward catch to Bishop. And I think he pulled it very well. 190 for nine. Kira Mori, Corton Ball, Bishop for four. And we're in the very last over. Bishop. Bowled him! That's uh, two wickets in and over. That's the end of Sharma. And also the end of Hirwani as well. The innings closes on 192 all out in the very last over. And Ian Bishop picking up the two wickets in the last over to round off a highly successful morning for the West Indies. Uh, this ball from Bishop was well pitched up, just straight in the off stump, and Hirwani taking his left foot away and just missing the ball altogether.